Hey, it's some guy coding you again today, and that guy, the router died. Mid job, of course, you know, it never fails. Um, I've got, uh, I had a, um, a V bit on there, so it really didn't snap anything off. Although you can see that it's uh, <laughs> working some of the color off as it works. Um, but uh, so the first thing I thought we'd check is the uh, brushes, and that, that, that was it actually. And uh, on top here, it's uh, Torx and uh, Flathead or Standard. Um, now, of course, there's a lot of brush change videos on uh, uh, DeWalt uh, 611 up there, but we'll try to talk about the design a little bit here, too, just to make things a little bit more interesting. All right, there it is. Almost. We got it. So, um... You know, there's a speed control, some other stuff. Let's make sure it's unplugged, maybe. That might be a good idea, huh? Let's unplug that bugger. Ta-da! We don't want to zap ourselves. And on either side of the device, if we can zoom in a little bit and get in focus and in screen, are these um, spots for the brushes. It's got this little spring, coiled spring here that helps hold the brush in. You can see it better that direction. And it's also attached right here. So let's go ahead and pop one out. The tricky part can be um, getting that spring out of there. Some people make a little special designed hook or something to grab it. First I'm just going to uh, use this little small Phillips screwdriver to pop that guy loose so that's out of our way. Then we should be able to go and uh, or maybe not. Going from the side uh, that does not have the, the wire coming out, and I'll show you why here in a second. Make sure we're on screen here. And I'm going to pull that guy out. I can use a thinner screwdriver. All right, I did it. I walked over the bench and made myself a special tool. This is just a piece of uh, music wire. I think it's 0 0.63 or something like that. I don't know. Um, or point, uh, 006, uh, who knows? And all I did is I cut a piece and I put a little bend in there. Because it is a little tight. But now we'll be able to slip, slip through that uh, slot where the um, power from the power to the, uh, the wire to the brush goes. And we'll be able to slip right in there and grab that guy. In theory. There we go. So now I've got it, and I'm just going to, if you hang it there, that's good enough. If you really want to be fancy, you can hang it up on that guy there. And then the brush just comes out. Just pull on the wire, ta, ah, it's gone. So let's do that to the other side again. Now we're on the other side here, and we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a, a little screwdriver here, and we're just going to pop that guy off, just like that. Him out of the way once I get my hand out of the way so I just moved him back out of the way a little bit there now we're going to come in with this handy dandy little tool again we're going to get it in behind the wire or the spring rather there we go I think I got it yep and then we're just oh, and I dropped it uh oh this is a bad thing that happens if you drop it and it spins around, well, then you got to move it back again. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out. Now we have to figure out how to get this guy wound around. It's progress. Okay, that's progress too. Okay, come on now. I'm going to twist you around here and of course it went away again. This is the challenging part. So don't do this, whatever you do. Let's see if I can pull it out to the side. There we go. And then hook it on that little notch. That was annoying. So thank you to my patrons who uh, helped me purchase uh, with their monthly uh, support. 
a set of uh, brushes for this guy. It's uh, this one is from um, TBD CNC. I wanted to use the PayPal account, so I bought them directly from the website rather than Amazon. Otherwise, TBD CNC also stocks these on Amazon. It's unfortunate that I couldn't find a local in-stock supplier. I even looked at Granger. They they could sell them to me, but they didn't have them on hand. So we were down a little bit until uh, until things came back here. So let's zoom out a little bit so we're not quite so close. So there they are. You can see that they're a mirror image. These are the back side. These are the front that have not been uh, uh, used yet, so they're still flat. Let's take a look and compare these to the old ones. So you can see Yep, it's, uh, it's about the same. About half of the block is gone when they're used. I was reading or watching online where uh, one gentleman always checks his brushes about uh, uh, one hour, 100 hours into use. And I kept thinking, well, how am I going to tell how long it's been used? But I think I could add a feature to the control software down there that would track the time that the router's been on. Maybe even track the time that the laser's been on. That'd be pretty cool. One cool thing about this design with the wire sticking out the side there is that this slot here on the side where the wire goes uh, slides in sort of acts as a stop so that once it's worn down far enough the wire slides in all the way and uh, stops making contact with the motor. So it's, it's like a little protector that will protection uh, um, plan here that keeps you from using up all the brush and starting to scrape the router, the, the commuter with the uh, hard wire, so it saves your commuter that way. And I think that's in all the way. That's about as big as it's going to get. I've got that wire lined up with the slot over here. Hopefully you can see that. And then we're going to plug it back in. I think that's okay. I don't see anything that that little wire uh, clip is going to touch up against. Hopefully you can see it on the screen there. Now, uh, this brush is actually larger than the brush container, which is kind of cool. But that ha also has this little slot in back here. Right here. Little groove so that you can drop the... Uh, spring back down in it and the spring won't uh, go any place in theory there so that spring holds right in there doesn't slide to side to side sorry for the sniffy nose constant state of allergy here so here's the other guy. Let's make sure we get the wire on the correct side. And before we do that, even let's let's take a closer look at this kind of funky connector here. If it'll focus. Come on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and fold that over the other direction. <clears throat> I don't know if that's right or wrong. I'll pop that brush in there. Make sure the wire is loose. Should probably have a little pair of uh, pliers for putting this guy in. There we go. It's in now. And once again, we'll just uh, lift this uh, little springy clip up. I think the problem I'm having is that the spring clip wants to rotate on me. This guy, I'm sorry, this this little tool wants to rotate on me. Be right back. I'll just give it a little twerk here, like that. And that way it won't uh, turn quite so much in my hands and roll. 
Let's look at the side that still needs it. <laughs> All right. Oop, don't mess. There we go. And that one's in there. All right. Pop the lid back on, and of course, make sure you get the strain relief back in here that just slid, slides on the uh, slides on the power cord here. Get in there. There we go. We're in. And then we'll just tighten them up a little bit, not too tight. There. All right, so we'll pop this back in the CNC machine. Ugh. Just like that. So now we're left over with a <coughs> couple of uh, used brushes. <coughs> I don't know what to do with these other than toss them. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Amazing stuff, huh? Occasionally you find something where people have thought things out probably a long time ago. But, um, so that's all I have for you today. Thanks patrons for the uh, replacing my brushes for me. That was paid for by the uh, patrons. If you want to become a patron and help support this channel for as little as a, uh, a little as a dollar a month, you certainly can. It's uh, out on Patreon.com. Just search for Some Old Guy Coding. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to get back to the project that I was cutting <laughs> and see if we can finish this up now that it's been about two weeks overall. Thanks for watching.